book out today on the life of Mary Kay Letourneau. She's the teacher who was jailed after, after an affair with a young student. It's called If Loving You Is Wrong, The Shocking True Story. The book reveals the teacher's troubled past, including a childhood of sexual abuse and family secrets. Although the scandal has destroyed her life, she still doesn't think she was wrong. Her words are quite crazy and nutty and bizarre, but, you know, to listen to Mary explain her love for him and the idea that it's really none of our business and that we should, you know, get on with our own lives and focus on something else comes across as clear as can be. But she just doesn't get what we get, which is this isn't a good thing for anybody. Mary Kay Letourneau was set to be released from prison in four years. Her young lover is now 16 years old and returned to high school this week while raising their two children. 6.53 this morning, her unstoppable desire for an illicit affair shocked the nation and landed former teacher Mary Kay Letourneau behind bars. Well, now she's telling her side of the story from prison. Virtually everything about her love affair with a former student is laid out. No holds barred in a brand new book. The title is If Loving You Is Wrong, and its author is here with us this morning, Greg Olson. We welcome you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Helen. Now, you spent a lot of time with uh, her in prison. Well, no, actually, I only saw her one time in prison. Oh, okay. Our relationship or our, our talks have always been over the phone. Oh, oh. I see. Okay. Yeah. In fact, I talked with her as recently as uh, yesterday. And what did you learn about from talking with her? Well, I learned that her focus has never wavered and that she is in love with this student or says she is in love with this former student who's now 16, who was 12 and she fell in love with him. Uh, she's never changed that and she says it's uh, being in prison is worth it because she can protect that love. Now to give uh, our viewers at home a little bit of background, they had a sexual relationship that began when he was only 13 years old. She was 34. She was a mother of four at the time and a teacher. Uh, how did all that begin? It's pretty wacky, huh? Yeah. yeah. It's just she said she saw something special in this boy from even second grade. She mm. kind of focused on him and thought he was a special kid. And by the time he was in her sixth grade class, she was teaching sixth grade at the time, she decided that he was the one, that, she, that he was the love of her life. It's her so husband, nobody else mattered. She even had two children with this student. She later did have, she later did get pregnant. She was pregnant uh, when he was a seventh grader. Mm -hmm. And I think th how, I don't know, I, I don't, I'm searching for the proper word, but uh, these two were inseparable. Even after she got caught by the law, was incarcerated, she got pregnant a second time. How did that happen? She didn't even, w you know, wait one minute. The minute she got out of jail, because she was going to serve a little treatment time, mm -hmm. she got out of jail, she was back with this kid, they were going to Starbucks, they were going to the movies, they were going to the mall, like she had no problem being with him, yet the court had said, you can never see this boy again, you need to stay away. What? She risked it all. What do you think made her do this? She's obsessed with uh, this kid. She. It is she stable? I mean, in, in your opinion, is she a stable person who knows what love is? She's very convincing. I'll give her that. She's very convincing, and she can convince you, David. She can convince you right now that she's in love with this. Now he's 16. And you would listen to her, and you would say, oh, okay, it sounds uh, like she is. Uh -huh. But, of course, it's, it's not a healthy love. It's an obsession that is dangerous for all the people. Uh, right. Her children. Her husband, everybody. I'm curious how you got access to her. How did you just contact her? I, I, actually, fortunately, I live near the prison. Oh. <laughs> so I was able uh. to meet her and talk to her that way. Now, you said okay. this affects a lot of people. It must also affect the students of, of the kid that she was involved with. How do they see this? Well, I'll tell you, that's what's coming out now. These kids adored Mary Kay Letourneau. They thought she was the best teacher they ever had. They thought mm. she was creative, fun, pretty, everything you'd want. And they are devastated because they, they saw Billy, Billy Fulau, and Mary as a couple. Even hmm. though the age was totally wacky and inappropriate, they were hurt to see that this woman would go to prison for loving somebody that they also love. And the kid is doing all right? Kid hopefully will be back in school. He's uh, had a lot of problems. We're right. just about out of time, but real quickly, the hmm. two children that she had with him, what happened to them? She, has not, she had her first visit with her youngest baby about a week ago, mm -hmm. and over almost a year. All right, it's called If Loving You Is Wrong by Greg Olson. It's a it's fascinating story. It certainly captured um, the nation's attention. Thank you very much for coming in yeah, this morning. Thank you so much.